Behind me is the rail, the home of Redford FC, and they currently play the football in the Northern Counties East Division 1. But over in that direction, about a mile away, here lies Cannons Park, the home of Redford United Football Club. But how can one town, a tenth of the population of Doncaster, have two clubs in the same league? That's why we're going to find out. This is the story of Redford United and Redford FC. One town, two football clubs. Okay, so we're here at River Lane. Our journey begins 1984. Flashback. 1984. Liverpool had just won the Champions League for the fourth time and Billy Bremner was managing Doncaster Rovers in the old fourth division. But around that time saw a Redford Town finish fourth in the Northern Counties East League Division 1. But however, due to financial problems, the club folded straight after the league had finished. You can go visit the former site of where Redford Town used to play at River Lane, which is where I'm going to take you now. So behind is the Morrison complex, but this used to be the old complex of the old Redford Town Football Club. Now, I'm going to go a bit off topic, but this is the same age as me, and the reason why is because my dad actually helped build that. So, around the time when I was being born, so, badness. So the ground was very derelict up at that point, and of course with Redford Town folding in 1984. There wasn't a club around the Redford area was there, but fast forward to 1987, Redford United was born. Redford United, of course, they founded in 1987, as we said. They started out in the Gainsborough District League, of course, they were so successful, they moved into the Nottinghamshire League, eventually the Central Midlands, but they started out playing their football here. It was here, at Goose Moor Lane, where Redford United used to be. But then they moved to, they moved here, Oakland Lane. But by the new millennium, Redford United moved to Cannons Park. I can see some floodlights. So here it is, Cannons Park. And of course, they've, still, they've got the Central Midlands North champion sign. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. I mean, look, still got it champions up the badges. So yeah, look forward to a derby next season. By 2011-12, Redford United were starting to fall into financial turmoil, just like what happened with Redford Town. Now, of course they won the league the season after, but because of the financial stuff and because of the ground grading, they couldn't go back up into the Northern Premier League, and thus started the downfall of Redford United. Redford FC founded 2015, the same year as Seth Blatter resigning from FIFA. They played the football at the rail. Redford FC, like Redford United, rose through the leagues with both teams meeting in the Central Midlands League in the 2018-19 season. Both teams drew at Cannons Park before FC beating United 5-0 in the reverse game and FC claiming the title that season. However, last season, Redford United went on to win the Central Midlands North title and thus both teams in the same league for the first time since 2019. So, what does it mean for the two clubs today? Well, firstly, we'll have a derby, the first derby since 2019. And secondly, for the town of this size, I think it's fantastic that you've got two clubs who have had, you know, they've had the fair share of ups and downs and everything. We've got a town that could be really proud of these football clubs and we're going to have a derby next season. Certainly, I'll be doing those two games. But there we are then. I find myself back at the rail. I say I'm looking forward to both derbies next season. I will be doing it, and like I say, to have two clubs that are going to be in the same league is absolutely incredible. So, but yeah, that is the story of Redford United and Redford FC. If you enjoyed this, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll leave you a closing shot of the rail.